if anyone wills to do his will, he shall know concerning the doctrine. John chapter 7 verse 17 The golden rule to follow to obtain spiritual understanding is not one of intellectual pursuit, but one of obedience. If a person wants scientific knowledge, then intellectual curiosity must be his guide. But if he desires knowledge and insight into the teachings of Jesus Christ, he can only obtain it through obedience. If spiritual things seem dark and hidden to me, then I can be sure that there is a point of disobedience somewhere in my life. Intellectual darkness is the result of ignorance, but spiritual darkness is the result of something that I do not intend to obey. No one ever receives a word from God without instantly being put to the test regarding it. We disobey and then wonder why we are not growing spiritually. Jesus said, If you bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First, be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Matthew chapter 5, verse 23 and 24. He is saying, in essence, don't say another word to me. First, be obedient by making things right. The teachings of Jesus hit us where we live. We cannot stand as impostors before him for even one second. He instructs us down to the very last detail. The Spirit of God uncovers our spirit of self vindication and makes us sensitive to things that we have never even thought of before. When Jesus drives something home to you through his word, don't try to evade it. If you do, you will become a religious imposter. Examine the things you tend simply to shrug your shoulders about and where you have refused to be obedient. And you will know why you are not growing spiritually. As Jesus said, first go, even at the risk of being thought of as fanatical, you must obey what God tells you.